All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a another series of modern matches. Uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, uh, happy Modern Monday, I guess. Uh, this is a list that was commissioned by uh, Scott D. Uh, he sent me over this list, and he said he would love it if I could take a look at it, play it. Uh, Slider Man, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Two months in a row. Um, thank you for the support. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, so Scott said he wanted me to take a look at this deck, get some feedback. And uh, if you guys don't know, you can check out my Twitch profile. I am offering, like, uh, I guess cr deck critiques where I'll uh, take your deck, I'll, I'll run it through a league or some matches, whatever you prefer, and uh, give you some feedback on it along with any changes I might propose. Um, so if that's something that interests you, do check out the my, my Twitch profile. And, um, yeah, so also another funny story is that tonight I went to... Uh, my friend Robert's wedding. Robert, you may know as Illusions Donate GG in the chat. Uh, met Robert about a year ago, like basically through the stream. And uh, today, today he got married. I went to his wedding, so that was pretty sweet. So, um, just another reason why I absolutely love what you know. Uh, the what am I saying here? Everything associated with streaming, I guess. So. So let's go to, uh, as usual, we're just going to do friendly because uh, this is a deck that I have never played before. And I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. And we're just looking to uh, see how it works and make some tweaks based on that. So, Wedding was wonderful. Had a great time. Uh, Robert's wife uh, also has a Twitch handle that she made just so she can chat with me and Robert. While we're while we're you know while we're streaming, I guess you could say, and um, it's illusions donate Gigi's wife, which is pretty funny. So, just a pretty cool story to come out of streaming. Like that that kind of thing is awesome. Like I you know I met Robert through my content, and today I went to his wedding, and that's just a pretty cool story. But yeah, oh actually, I'm gonna go over this deck because we actually didn't go over it. We we're just looking at we were just we were just we've just been chatting this whole time. So. Basically, it's just a blue black control deck. We have 24, 23 lands, Serum Visions, and Thought Scour. Thought Scour is going to be powering things like Tastigur. Uh, it also gives us lots of targets for our four Snapcaster Mages. One Go for the Throat and three Mana Leak. Um, one Go for the Throat's interesting. It's probably one of the better removal spells in Modern, I think, outside of like Fatal Push because it kills most things. Uh, Fatal Push also a four of two Inquisition and two Thought Seize. Usually you want a little. Usually this this seems to be on the low end. A lot of times you actually have between five and six. Um, I like Mana Leak a lot. I think it's a pretty much a staple for the blue black decks. Uh, it just counters a lot of things in modern because it's very rare you have the, the three extra mana, uh, three Liliana of the Veil, a Hero's Downfall, which uh, as you can imagine is far more relevant now that this this beautiful boy is is free. Two Vendillion Click. Uh, just another threat to supplement Tassigers and uh, Snapcaster Mages. Two Damnation, which I think is also just a fantastic uh, card that's underplayed in Modern. And two Cryptic Command, which is great because in a lot of decks I was worried about having both Jace and Cryptic Command competing, but I think having both is pretty sweet. Um, one, one other thing to note is that there are three three creeping tar pits in the deck, which I think is a super strong finisher for a deck like this, because uh, the Sultai list we just played last Wednesday, if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out on YouTube. Uh, but that deck did not have any any creature lands because it was just too hard to get the mana right and you wanted all your lands to come into play untapped. Whereas a deck like this, you should be fine. And you really don't want to go without Creeping Tar Pit because it's just a strong finisher. And we have some like affinity slash artifact answers, counter squalls for spells, disdainful stroke for other for, for other things like Tron, another go for the throat, two spell bombs for graveyard stuff, another hero's downfall, a Kalidus collective brutality. The sideboard's pretty obvious, right? You guys are you guys know what we're going to bring in counter squalls against and Nile spell bombs, and uh, we'll figure it out. Iron Chef Sammy says we're going to go 1 4 with not enough answers. Well, I mean, 4 Fatal Push, 3 Mana Leak, 1 Hero's Downfall, 3 Liliana, Go for Throat, and 2 Damnation, and 2 Cryptic Command. Seems like a lot of answers to me. I feel like outside of the Serum Visions and the Thought Scours, everything else is either creatures or answers, but. We'll see. By answers, do you mean threats? 
What up, Static Suicide? You old Mitch, you. I predict 4-1 due to a lack of Mike ice crunching. I think we've already won if, if Mike isn't crunching the ice. I feel like it's, it's already a victory. Man. Looking for a league opponent, guys. I'd say 3-2, one loss, two. All right, so so basically we're gonna we're just gonna get one four, three, two, four, one. Anyone got a, anyone got a two three? And then we can just run all the gamut. We can run the whole gamut of results. I will play first. That's how we do. I don't hate this. I think it see it, see it's funny because you get a damnation and you're like, well, depending on what they have, it could be very good. Maybe they're humans. Playing against Party Boy, like you do. I'm just gonna go Tarpit here. Next time we can Flood Strand and Thought Scour. It just has a certain lack of. I don't know what. Uh, all right, so. Ooh, ooh. So one, two, three, four. We're literally one shy from Tassiger this turn. That's really sad. I don't think we'd have a reason to have Flooded Strand first turn when we have Creeping Tarpit. Maybe if we wanted to get super aggressive and Thought Scoured, but then in that situation we wouldn't have drawn the Tassiger. So, hard to say. What up, who cares? What up, what up Chris? All right, we're just going to pass here. All right, I'm going to make sure this is correct. One, this is one card, two card, three cards, four cards... And then we'd have one land left over. So five. Yeah, we're one away from Tasker this turn, so we might as well just pass. Meanwhile, they have a Raging Ravine, so it's definitely a... It seems like it's going to be a Blood Braid versus Jace matchup here. Oh, yeah. I am not... Uh, I'm not less convinced now. <laughs> Let's get a Watery Grave. And negative. Chris with the Twitch Prime sub. I'm okay, Dad. I'm, I'm okay, Dad. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. Watch, it's going to be another Thought Scour. Okay, Liliana. Oh, and the third Liliana, which is actually kind of nice because I don't really want to draw all of those. So four, five, six, seven, Liliana. I guess we can just play Liliana and then... Do we not have Polluted Delta? Or we do have four Polluted Deltas. Okay, so we just happen to draw the two Flooded Strands. Interesting. I really want more black mana. But I think I'm fine with an island. We have a lot of blue cards just not in our hand. We can easily get rid of a Liliana here. Oh, you're going to crack that in response, I see. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? I feel like you may have asked me how to get a hold of me on YouTube. Let me know if that's correct. Um, I will discard a Liliana of the Veil. Under the assumption that you will kill it in response, unfortunately. Auburn fan, glad to hear it, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm glad that you finally caught us live. Abrupt Decay, Lightning Bolt number one. Lightning Bolt number two. The two for one? A Tar Fire, ooh. All right, still a two for one. It's a three for two, if technically speaking. Nefri, I'm glad I could help you out, buddy. Glad, uh, glad I could be here to support your, your drinking habit. Like you do. No Tarmogoyf, huh? <gasps> oh, things are getting exciting. I think we're just going to Fate Seal, right? Oh, what if they Blood Braid Elf, though? I guess that's that's why we Fate Seal, right? Watch it be a Blood Braid Elf. Verdant Catacombs? 
They have not missed a land drop. No, you can keep that. I trust that'll be fine. Zombies 81 also catching us. Oh, they did have the lightning bolt. Wow. All right. This is why we fate seal, I guess. So we know you have a catacombs. Now you're going to... Yep, here, here comes blood, Bright Elf. I have yet to be impressed with the Jace. Maybe we're running it out too soon. Maybe we should have played Tassiger here. I don't know. This is still something you have to kind of figure out in the format. Yep. See, I mean, like, sure, that's a good... That seems scarier than than Jace, to be honest, but we do have Damnation, which is pretty nice. What if you didn't kill Jace instead? Let's make sure we can get a Swamp here. Nice. Nice. Kill all the things. And we'll play this this bad Larry. One, two, three, four. Seems good. Yeah, so I'm still yeah, we're still trying to figure out where Jace fits in the metagame, and I think uh, or not in the metagame, but in modern in general, because it's just not something that we're used to. So I think I think later than turn four has typically been the... Yeah, that's fine. Do you, do you tar fire Tassiger just so that he doesn't block? Yep. All right, so I'll take three. No blocks. Whew. Whew. All right, at this point, we're actually just going to... Uh... Actually, I think we still fate seal you. Uh, nope, you can have that one. I did see that Ollie, uh, made f Ooh, interesting. I did see Ollie got fourth place with the, uh, with this crazy standard brew, which is pretty sweet. I was proud of him. They have no cards in hand. So I just get to eat a goblin here. Okay. I will block. And Rabble Master is a good dude, but we get to Jace here. Have you guys ever Jaced before? Well, that was not the best Jace we could have had, but we do have a a lot of things to do here. This does nothing. So we're actually going to put this and this back. Play a tar pit. And I'm just going to pass here because I think we're going to uh, get a little bit more stuff here. Like, we don't have any way to trigger Revolt at the moment, so. And I assume if we actually uh, Tassiger here, they're gonna, we're going to put Inquisition and something else back, so they're just going to give us Inquisition back, unfortunately. So this is where they play a dude and activate Raging Ravine and try to kill Jace. But... We get two blocks, so Jace can actually... We can actually block here and Raging Ravine. And Jace can go to one. And that seems just fine. Yep. Make that guy big. Make that guy big. I'm going to block this 3-2 because it's just better at this point. Cast on you. Jace can go to 1, and that is more than fine at the moment. Give me that Inquisition, but now I get to actually use it if you give it to me. You probably just give me Damnation, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, change your mind. All 
I have to assume you have a two or three mana spell in your hand that you just didn't want to cast because you want to try to kill Jace. Uh, I, I was putting them on Fatal Push because they didn't play their card and they chose to attack with Raging Ravine. So if they had Fatal Push, um, then they just kill Tarpit and we and then we lose our Jace. So that doesn't seem ideal. I'm just going to keep Jacing. Don't go Jason Monophos. I'll put you back and I'll put you back and then we're going to go serum visions to draw the drowned catacomb put both of these on the bottom Let's see what you got here grim flare all right so it's basically like a thought seize but better Do we just not care about Jace? We just like we we like they're in top tech mode. We can deal seven this turn and just kill them next turn. Seems pretty good. I feel like Jace is. I feel like we just finished the game, right? Especially with two tar pits next turn, so we can also thought scour get rid of the. Uh, well, I guess we don't know it's on top anymore, so. But they did get one card, too. Yep, all right, sweet. Good to know. Kalidus seems good against them. Um, I like Damnation. They stick to the... Why do I have Don't Go Chase and Waterfall stuck in my head? <sighs> Go for the Throat definitely comes in. I guess Brutality could come in. Hmm... I like... I like Disdainful Stroke if Cascade wasn't a cast trigger. That'd be pretty sick, right? Chris, I think I know exactly who you're talking about, and I think that's why it's actually stuck in my head. Um, what's not great against Jund? I can take out a mana. I can see taking out a mana leak. Um, spell bomb might be okay, especially since we did see Grim Flare. I forgot his name for a second. I do like Downfall. I just wish it didn't cost three. I wonder if Brutality might be better, but I mean Downfall kills Tarmogoyf, which is pretty relevant. I think it might just be take out mana leaks. I'm gonna bring in one spell bomb. We'll take it out for uh, take it out for two thought scours. Actually, bring in both. Eh, I'll go. I'll do one. Twenty-seven Ashoks for me to sign. Deal. I'm in. I do like murderous cut, but my concern is that we have two taskers, so I don't know how much we're going to actually have to. Uh, to delve, if you know what I mean. I will definitely keep this hand. All my life, I waited for someone like you. I don't even know if that was good. That was probably terrible. I think I just butchered that whole thing. Uh, I feel like I can get a swamp here safely. We're gonna get a watery grave. Uh, next turn we'll get another watery grave, but we'll we'll just put it into play tap because of serum visions. 
God, I hate starting at 15 in modern. Wow, blood blade, blood blade, blood blade, blood blade, abrupt decay. Um, that's a bold hand. I think we just take the blood braid. I don't think I care about the other things. That's pretty good. Uh, go for the throat is better than victim of night because double black is so much harder to do. Um, I know it doesn't not, not going to matter. Actually, we're just going to play the thought sees, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. So I guess we're going to go to like 10 here. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Treetop is gone. But on the other hand, they don't have any blood braid elves, so. Oh, now we're going to take Ralph Master. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Treetop village. We're basically dead now because of the because of the aggression. Dalkery, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. Welcome to the Sultai Bruderuski. Oh, we're missing a land drop, I see. Well, that is unfortunate. They're just gonna they're like, alright, well, I'll kill you with my treetop village. Wow, we got real aggressive with this uh with these thought seasons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just losing to these these animated lands now, unfortunately. Or the second Bloodbraid Elf, because if we had another land, we could have got Snapcaster Thoughtseize taking the other Bloodbraid Elf, but now you have Bloodbraid Elf, so... It's not good. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna go to game three. This was not ideal. Um, I don't know if I played enough like established modern to know how I'm liking new modern what's up M good to see anybody um I feel like it's fine I'm gonna have to sneeze oh don't do this come on dang it it's the worst um I feel like modern's fine I don't feel like the changes were uh detrimental in any way I think with Jason and, and Bloodbraid Elf, I think I think it's it's definitely Um I will play first. Right. I think this is fine. I have not played Hand of the Gods, and I don't even think I know what that is. Modern feels fine so far. That's what I'm getting at here. I don't think... I'm waiting... See, it's really unfortunate that we just had three weeks of modern events. Um, because I would love to see events after the rotation. All right, now we get to go and do all the things. This does not nab. Oof. Oof. What is going on? I care more about Dark Confidant than the other guy. This hand, though, dude. Oh, wow. I mean, we do have Damnation, we have Liliana, so we should be fine, but I don't really want them to... I think we're going to have to take Fulminator Mage next turn with Snapcaster Mage. So. Oh my god. Astrid, I'm sorry, buddy. Jeez. I didn't know what time you guys were going to bed. Grimmy. Alright. Old Grimmerino. Let's crack this guy. Mm 
So we actually, in order to deal with this Fulminate range, we actually have to get uh, Snapcaster into land here. I mean, Liliana would be great, but I don't want to lose my guy. You played Black Cleave Cliffs, and so this is the four cards I know about. Yep. Black. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to dismiss all this. We'll take the Fulminator Mage. All right. Well, had to be done. Um, I don't know if it actually... It depends on the wording of Ashok. If Ashok says cast... Then it does. Oh, okay. Okay. This guy seems pretty good. Three card types. All I need is one more. Now we can Liliana pretty safely, I think. That's pretty good. Seems like I'm dropping a lot of frames, guys. I apologize if it's uh, lagging at all on the stream. I'm not really sure why we're dropping frames. But... pretty strong. The frame droppage is strong. Oh, that was pretty good. Alright, so I guess we're just going to Liliana here. Push this dude down a well. So you play this is is this your hand? What do I what am I missing? Oh you cast the dreadbore. Okay. So Sack dude. Verdant is gone. If this is a throne, I'm going to feel real okay about it. Oh, it's a Bloodbraid Elf. Into a Tarmogoyf. All right. So I guess we just kill both with Damnation. We fatal push to our Confidant. We could also Fatal Push the Bloodbraid Elf and save the Liliana. I don't think that's better, though. <sighs> or do I? Okay, so we make him di we both discard next turn. We'll probably discard a Damnation. But then we have no... We ha then we have to Damnation. Yeah, no, it's just better. Liliana. Liliana can go, unfortunately. I mean, this was a free Tarmogoy. If that was a 3-5 haste and a 4-5 for 4 mana, which is pretty insane. Thrun? Yep, now we're going to Damnation this guy as well. Because he's got to go. <laughs> Probably the, the worst... The worst threat we could face. Alright, so Dark Confidant and one other card. We should be able to deal with all of these things. That should have been a Jace, but... Twas not. Uh, we don't really have a reason to keep the land in hand, especially when we have lots of things to do with our mana. So I'm just going to play it. 
Like if they have their own Liliana and they want to like plus it, that is just fine. So they have one card in hand. They played a land last turn, so I assume it's not a removal spell. I assume it's probably just a land. And now we're one land away from actually just attacking with creeping tar both creeping tar pits. Yeah, we could have pushed to save Lily, but I think that's just worse than, than damnation the board. I think Liliana was a worse card to have on board than just keeping it. Is it another? Wow, that's so good. That's that's actually great for us. Deal. I will take it. What if I just block here? I mean the alternative is like fatal push. And like we don't actually have what do the physics? We can also just I think we just block here. Right? Right? My opponent's just naming all the things. Liliana, Fatal Push, Snap. I mean, I could just wait and do this, but I don't have a way to trigger it, so I think it's just best to just snap. We don't, like... Fatal Push, sure. I like this better than going to 9 here. Especially when we have Double Creeping Tarpon on board, and I don't think they have an answer. You can see Creeping Tarpet doing uh, doing a lot of work here. Oof. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah, our hand is pretty pretty stacked right now. They're just hitting a bunch of lands, unfortunately. We didn't hit any Jaces this game, but he's actually pretty good last game. I mean, again, like he was good. He was great in game one, but just not groundbreaking. Like it was, it, 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 we fate sealed and then drew some cards. Like it really wasn't that big of a deal. Push him. Sound effects included. All right. All right, good games. All right, so not bad, not bad. I uh, I have no complaints about that match so far. All right, it's 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 perfectly fitting that our first round was Bloodbraid Elf versus versus Jace. Can't complain about that. Brian, why are you upset? Tell me why. I'm curious. Factor Friction. Good morning, buddy. What are your initial thoughts on Bloodbraid Elf? After about a week of testing, I found Bloodbraid Elf really good. Enough. Yeah, Bloodbraid Elf has been great in, in all, everything. It's I think Bloodbraid Elf is the actual stronger card to be unbanned than Jace, as, as far as I know. Dalkery, what's going on, Scott? I'm glad you I'm glad you're here. Um I yeah, the the round one went great. I am thrilled. Deck has been fun. I mean, this is this is second round, so because you are way better at magical the gathering cards than I. That's why you're upset. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, this hand seems good. What's up, big money grip? Bloodbraid Elf seems to be more fitting with the with the speed of modern. You know, like. I want to be attacking with a creature on turn four and also playing a different creature. Whereas Jace, I'm like, oh, I'll just brainstorm. Like, Jace reminds me of your grandpa that was really like, your, your grandpa that, that was a really strong boxer back in his day. But then once you like, you know, you bring him in the, you're, it's, you bring him into the modern era and then he's just not, you're like, grandpa, there's MMA now. You know, like boxing is not really the thing that we do. The question is, do we, 
Inquisition on turn one or turn two? I think it's always turn one. Because we also have Thought Scour, so we have things to do here. I like these Snapcasters a lot better. I'm going to take your Inquisition. What do you think about that? Yeah, that being said, I don't think Bloodbird Elf is overpowered. Uh, at least not yet. I think if they're... So here's here's a hot take, I guess. Um, if you were going to ban... Reban a card... Uh, of Bloodbraid Elf or Jace, I think I would lean towards Bloodbraid Elf at this point. Just because, like, when you're Bloodbraiding Elf, you're playing a 3 2 for 4 mana with haste, and you're also getting a 4 5 Tarmogoyf, like, that is a lot of value, dude. Like, it's a scary amount of value. What did you play? Watery Grave? No, you played Polluted Delta. Alright. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me just much. I have this song stuck in my head. I don't even like it that much. I saw a new deck list last night at GP Line stream. It was called Soul Flare Surprise. It used Soul Flare Delph and Excel Atalpa. And oh my god, please give me that deck. Big Money Grip, send me that list or something. Oh yeah, I mean like you gotta keep in a, keep into keep in mind that Jace has been unbanned for what f less than a week. Literally t today is one week. Um, on Magic Online, actually, it's been, it was Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days, and, um, I'm, I just don't think that, uh, anyone really knows the, the perfect shell for Jace, so. <laughs> Why does no one want to challenge me to fisticuffs? That is my question as well. Come on, Grandpa. Let's do it. Don't believe me, just watch. Um, I don't, that's a good question. That's a good question. Yo, yo, Luke. I came for the magic, but I stayed for the, the memes. Keep up the awesome work, Frank. Hope I can catch you. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. That's what I think about that. I'm actually just going to take your Jace, or your, not your Jace, but your, uh, your Snapperino. Because you don't deserve it. I'm going to, I'm going to give it to somebody who loves them. And that's going to be your graveyard. All right. Well, you do have polluted. You do have a uh, spreading seas and field of ruin for our creeping tar pits, but I felt like I felt like a, a donation due to memes was uh, was the perfect time for a, a vape nation, y'all. So. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Oh, Caleb's oh if Caleb's streaming the Soul Flare Soul Flare deck, I can only well, that's that is unfortunate, so hopefully you guys don't rush over there. Hope hopefully my companionship is good enough for you guys. Might as well thought scar myself here. Okay. They're at thirteen. They're at eleven. Good lord. Oh, Jason the Snapcaster in the graveyard. Fair fair hits. I should have just kept them on top, I guess. Cool story, Thought Scour. I don't even like you. Really? Why are you the way that you are? Also, uh, they only have Polluted Delta in one other card in hand, which is pretty good. It's going to be a Fatal Push, they're so just going to kill our Snapcast Mage. We also have two, two lands in hand, so that's not that much better. Are you just going to Field of Ruin? Oh, you're going to Snapcaster. What are you going to... You're going to Serum Visions? Okay. Okay. I can imagine. Yeah, Soul Flare decks in general stumble pretty hard. Like, they require a lot of things to go right. I think Coco has stronger possibility. Like you can you can go Bloodbraid Elf into like a lightning bolt, right? Whereas like Collected Company, if you just build your deck in a certain way, um, you're probably always gonna hit some gems. Chase, corrupt command. Something. Something good. 
Okay, that's not what we're looking for here. Don't believe me, just watch. I guess we're just going to run our guy into your guy and uh, call it a day. We have two cards in hand, huh? Um, they might have. They, this, I think, this is a different delta. I think they had two deltas, but I don't know. Is our Jace better than is our snap better than your snap? I don't know. If it is, so be it. I almost want a third Serum Visions over a Thought Scour. God, three Snapcasters in a graveyard? Come on. That's so that's so sad. It's not where you belong, Snapcaster. Oh my god. How many Serum Visions is this? One, two, three. Is this four? Is this your fourth Serum Vision? God, when is enough? When is enough enough? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's both a Jace and a Tar Pit deck. Well, they're going to just kill our guy now. That's pretty pretty fancy. Um, let's get an island. It's going to be a Jace. You ready? Are you ready? It was a it was an island. I lied to you. I didn't mean to, but it just worked out that way. Uh oh, here we go. Here it is. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. So they got to play their man land that makes uh, makes our Jace look bad, and they also got to play their Jace in the same turn. So that's unfortunate. Three lands in a row. All right. Not, that is not the deck's fault, unfortunately, because we have 23 lands in here. So I'm going to... Oh, they put that on top, didn't they? Oh, that's that's very nice of you. Well, you know it's there, so I guess we'll just pass. Don't believe me, just watch. I mean, on the bright side, if we draw enough lands, we can actually drain life them for eight. We got one, two, three, four so far. Five. We can we can drain for five. Ten point life swing is not bad. Let's do that. I feel bad about this poor creeping tar pit. All he wanted to do was live his life in the in his in his tar pit. Okay, well. I guess now we can actually uh, negate their fate seal, which is nice. Oh, you're not going to fate seal. I see. I understand now. Don't believe me, just watch. I would not mind if the song was no longer in my head. I will take three damage, and I will assume you have some sort of counter spell in your hand. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh god, I hit the land and then I put the other two. Oh, come on. We're just having a bad time. Just a bad time. Do, 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 do. Why are you the way that you are, Serum Visions? I don't want either of these cards. Alright, well, let's keep moving. I could concede, but... Where's the where's the honor in that? 
I'd rather die than have this creeping tar pit kill me. That doesn't even make any sense. What kind of a saying is that? Sideboard Notion Thief seems legit, and I would love to add one. See, here's the thing about the Sideboard Notion Thief. That is, a, that is an awesome moment when it happens, but the infrequency that it happens, infrequency, infrequentness, how infrequently it happens is... Um, is what makes it a little cute. Like, it's only good against, like, one deck, and that's if, like, drawn a million cards. Don't believe me, just watch. Did they brainstorm? It did. All right, cool. Well, Serum Visions takes one card. You know, I don't know if that's as good. Oh. I see. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, I'm going to give myself one more draw after I flooded Strand. Good lord. How many how many how many serum visions do you think you need? That's my question. Oh boy. Hey, that's a good dude. Sing us a song, you're the banana man. Sing us a song tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cause we're all in the mood for a banana man. You've got us feeling all right. No oh, la -de -da, da 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 da. What was the difference between those two quotes you just added? They seemed pretty much the same. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I mean, you just bounce this guy, right? Because that's what Jace does. Oof. It's going to be a fatal push. Yeah, we push it. My whole graveyard is stacked, but... Do you know what it's like having a Jace on board for 15 turns against your opponent? It's pretty bad. Oh my god, he just gave me the Jace. Oh my god! Oh, it's fantastic. So I assume this guy's dead. And then you just kill Jace, right? That seems bad. Whatever. Whatever. I'm just going to draw here. Seems good. So, put you on, and you on. Oh, the old tat pit. I gotcha. Really? Okay. I think we're dead here, but they're at six. That's so little life, though. What? 
So creepy. Oh man, once you activate that guy, it becomes a spoo a spoopy stream. Such spoopy. The problem with the problem with Pithing Needle like in a matchup like this is that we're both playing the same card. So it's like, well So long, Jace. Oh, you're going to you're going to four? Dang. I think we just have to crack Pluto Delta now. But then, we, then we're done on board, right? That's pretty scary. But we're kind of dead on board if we just draw a stupid tar pit, right? Oh, well, now it's just a, now it's just not even a tar pit. Now it's just a land, so we're just going to crack this, get a water grave. Let's see what it is. No one can ever say I scoop too soon. Hero's downfall, kill you. Ugh. Yeah, we're dead on board. We can kill the tar pit, but we still have to deal with an active Jace and a Snapcaster Mage, and I just don't... I don't see it happening. Counter Squalls come in. Stroke can come in. Downfall can come in. I can take a Liliana out. We can take... Take a Fatal Push out. It's not that great. Take a Thought Scour out. Take one Mana Leak out. I think that's probably fine. I don't think we care about... Uh, what do we add here? Thought Scour? Sure. We can bring a Kalidus in. Actually, we're taking the Damnations out. That seems terrible. Bring in a Kalidus for funsies. And we'll just keep the Mana Leak in. Actually, Collective Brutality could be good. Kills a Snapcaster and makes them discard something. It's probably Mana Leak. What up, Connor Ryan? I will submit like this. Boots it ahead. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Em, I haven't shown you because I haven't been on Twitter for a while, but I did get this this little cutie. And uh, it's been hanging out on my desk ever since, and I really appreciate it. And it is an awesome, awesome, awesome gift. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. This is a little pig that was made for me with a little, a little keychain pig. And uh, it is awesome. I will play first. This hand's a little aggressive. I don't know what to do here. I don't think we can keep this. Oy vey. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it's a turn three Tassiger if we want to exile all three lands. This is actually a really tough keep. I will try it. All right, Dalkyrie, Dalkyrie said keep, so we got to keep. It is his list, so uh, you got to believe. Oh, any, 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 he's, he's quoting Field of Dreams here, so. Uh, let us get. Exile, what's going on, buddy? Nope, will not. Thought Scar? Oh, Snapperino. Not not ideal, but we'll leave with these flooded strands just to get uh water graves with, and then we can just pollute a delta if we want a basic. I have a feeling we're gonna get Thought Scoured here. Uh not Esper, just actually black blue black. No white present. Spreading seas on that, sure. I mean, there's also some merit to uh, to just keeping our fetch lands uncracked to shut off their spreading seas for the first few turns. But I like the option to just not take a million damage when these come into play, so... That's pretty okay. 
I think there's Lily here. I think we can discard something here. I guess Snap. I think it's actually Snapcaster when we have double Jace in hand and nothing to actually target with Snapcaster. I also hope your face is wearing egg by the game's end because that would be a fun... That's a fun little situation there. Hero's Downfall. Oh, the dueling Lilianas. Okay, well... Boy, this is awkward. I feel like we just got rid of Jace here. All right, I guess we're getting a swamp here to match. So they can come at us with creeping tar pit, but do we care? Probably. Ugh. We just want to keep Jace around, right? Um, put it on the bottom. No, you can have that. See, there's also the option of Vendillion Click and play Tassigar this turn, but then they have Liliana, so it's just not that great. See, Tassigar is an engine for us, and I'd rather just keep the Tassigar around. That's just maybe that's just me. So, I mean, if they want to discard one to go to three, they'll draw the island. They can discard another go to two. Um, and then we'll have to discard Tasker. That's fine. Uh, set of Drift is the same. I, I feel like that's just a worse murderous cut, right? Like, I feel like I would just play Murderous Cut over Set of Drift. Is, is Set of Drift any permanent? Because it's actually not bad when you have Jace. That's interesting. I know they didn't miss a land drop now because we just put the we put an island on top. So they probably have multiple lands in hand, I would imagine. But if they can't deal with Liliana, like, we just get the ultimate Liliana. I mean, we have one card, which is rough. They go to two, but we have a Jace on board. And if they play their own Jace, then they're not attacking our Liliana. So. I don't know. This game could go a couple ways. Jace. Yep. All right. So. Yep. Yep. I also like them being able to uh, see because their creeping tar pit puts them so far ahead of us right now, because we had to plus Jace because of their creeping tar pit, whereas they don't, they're under no pressure to do the same. Um, that's interesting. I would actually brainstorm so that I could find the worst card to discard to Liliana, but maybe that's just me. They left a card on top, which is interesting. So they have one card in hand. So now we're just going to Jace here. Put you on top. I guess put you on top. Not ideal. But now we're just in top deck mode, only they have a uh, creeping tar pit, which is pretty bad for us. So...
Yep. Yeah, you have to actually attack Liliana here. Maybe you'll forget to activate your Jace. Probably not. gonna be a land all right so we can actually play this and then activate Liliana Oof, so bad. Guess we just keep that. I feel like we're just we're just one land like we're like one step behind unfortunately yep you just gotta keep attacking with tar pit right snapcaster fatal push tar pit alright And so the thing is, if we played, if we played, if we played our Tassigar on turn three, um, they could have actually just Liliana it immediately, which is pretty brutal. We have a mana leak on top, so we're just gonna crack this polluted delta. Yeah, they're gonna let us keep that, obviously. They have no cards in hand, which is nice. So they are at our mercy. Their Liliana is also pretty, pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. It's pretty good. <laughs> can actually bounce their Liliana. And their Jace. Oh god, these Planeswalkers are so OP. If this is a land, it'd be nice. I like a good land. Uh, mana leak. All right, let's draw three. We'll try to put the bad ones back. Disdainful stroke is nice. We're gonna play the scraping tar pit though. So we did get a Liliana. That's pretty nice. <laughs> All right. Your move. Liliana does die, but then you can't play your other Liliana unless you hit a land here. Let's see if you hit a land. And you did. Okay. Now you have the perfect land. Now you get to kill our Creeping Tar Pit. Wow. Oh, we discarded the Liliana. I don't know what I'm talking about replaying it. That doesn't make any sense. Either way, you get to keep Phil to Ruin up to kill our Creeping Tar Pit, so... I have a feeling you're going to do that right now. <sighs> I will use this ability. 
Jace is at 11. Kind of, kind of, kind of digging here, guys. Hero's downfall. That's not going to do it. One time. All right, Serum Visions doesn't help us because we no longer have any fetch lands. We can put both of these back. We have an extra turn, which is nice. We can counter squall whatever they do. I don't think it's Serum Visions here because we know what's on top. They're probably going to Fate Seal us because they just like doing that. So we can pass here. Like, they actually have nothing if we were able to get rid of this Jace. That's the same thing as just letting it resolve, only uh, we get to keep the information of the Serum Visions, so... The reason we didn't play Serum was because we know what's on top. So we're going to draw a card that we already know about. Whereas I'd rather play it before I Jace next turn, because then we get to see Serum Visions, the next card, the next card, and then the next three cards. So we get to see six deep if we just play it next turn. Whereas right now we're only looking at two of the same cards that we're just going to put on the bottom. And... Uh, I don't want to draw one of them. So I mean, we're going to draw one for our main phase anyway, but... At least this this helps us see more cards next turn. Plus, okay, sure. So, I guess we don't get to see anything. The old double thought sees. Jace, Jace. All right. Do we see the same amount of cards? I don't know. I I don't know if that's true or not, but... Here's Downfall one time. Two discard spells and another mana leak. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like if you Visions before Brainstorm, it makes you see more cards. I this is the worst because we're kind of brainstorm locked here. They get to kill our Jace and they get to uh, put theirs up to twelve. That's pretty brutal. How have we not found one answer for their creeping tar pit or their Jace? That's pretty ridiculous. Like, there's no no fatal pushes, no no heroes downfalls. Um. The mana leaks were pretty bad. I thought they would actually be fine in this matchup, but the games just went too late. We just kept hitting land drops and 23 land decks. Like, it's surprising that you have this many land drops. Or that we've hit this many land drops, rather. Oh, Jace, I'm sorry, buddy. I tried. I really did, but our opponent was able to uh, deal with every every creeping tar pit that we had. Yeah, now we can just get to draw. Like this, I don't think this is a game. We're, we know our next two draws are bricks. They could literally just put them both on top. And then our, yeah, this is game. Jace, Jace killed us, unfortunately. So. Not bad, though. Yeah, the problem was we weren't gonna get any draw steps. Um, our top card was our top two cards were Inquisition and Thoughts Thoughtseize. So they literally just put the Inquisition on top, put Jace to thirteen, put the Inquisition on top, um, and then we get to uh, 
what do you call it? They then then the ultimate Jace, and we have Inquisition in hand, and our deck is our deck is now Mana League Inquisition in that order or whatever order they want to put him in, and uh, that's that's the end. <laughs> yes, not anymore. I know. <laughs> At one point, perhaps. What up, Tyler? Wow, this hand could be great depending on the deck we're playing against. That's that's something right there. Um, I think we I think we can keep this because it's modern, but well, you're gonna take something probably thought scour. I bet. Because it's the only thing that's different. One of these things is not like the other. Yeah. To the surprise of no one. Well, I hope you have creatures. That's all I'm saying. If you do, we're in good shape. If you don't, I guess we might also be in good shape. We're gonna get one water grave. We'll keep the other flood strand in the in the chamber in case we need to uh, trigger revolt. Don't believe me, just watch. Oh, this guy's just dead. You gonna get it now, Bobby? Now you're gonna get it, Bobby. Whatever the whatever the the Happy Gilmore quote is. I saw no reason to take two there, but now I feel like I now there's more of a reason to do so because we just drew a mana leak. So that's sad times. So yeah, all we had to do was take two more damage and go to seventeen, and we could have. That's a, that's one of the biggest things you have to consider in modern. Like I think it, I th mana resource, mana. There's a there's a there's a real tension between mana, and uh, life. Right. Like if I chose to take two more, it's more mana. It's it's more mana efficient, but. It might not be the right choice. Bloodbraid Elf? How many you got? Coligon's Command? Tarmogoyf? Tarmogoyf. Huh. Well, we'll definitely take that K Command. Um, this guy's gone and this guy's gone. I'm just gonna mana leak your face. Fatal Push is pretty good against every card in their deck, every creature in their deck, including Raging Ravine, which is nice. So I'm just gonna counter this while I can. I ain't afraid of no goifs. That's from Ghostbusters. I don't know if you guys knew that. Maybe you guys have seen that movie. It's about a, a motley crew of middle-aged gentlemen who battle the supernatural. And they overcome their differences. You got it. Like, they know we have fatal pushes for days, so... This is just not a situation where you wait... Don't believe me, Tarmogoyf? Just watch. Oof. Do we get in there with this guy? Feels bad, man. I can wait. I got time. I've only played like two J sticks, so it's hard to say if I have a if I have a better if I have a, a favorite J stick I've played. Well, now you have all of your raging ravines. I want to be honest with you, I don't really care about killing um, Bloodbraid Elves with our Fatal Push. I say that now, I'm sure, but I, I really just want the land in play in case we hit something good. But I do kind of want to start dealing some damage, so I guess we'll do that now. We have a Mana Lake and a Fatal Push. Oh god, no. Why are you the way that you are? No, 
He went into the trash can. I have not seen a single Miracles list. I haven't been looking for them. And I think it's going to take a while before people figure them out before they look good. But, but you know, what are you going to do? Eh, what are you going to do? Is where your thought sees me. No? Don't believe me? Just watch. Oh, it's a Kologon's Command. To get the Tarmogoyf back and make me discard a card. I will do half of that, but you will get no, no such Tarmogoyf, good sir. There will be no Tarmogoyf this day. That was a good draw. Don't believe me, just watch. Actually, Dark Confidant was, was probably the, definitely the better pick here. So, What, Ray? What just popped in there? It's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, yeah. Took a damage. Get your, get your overgrown tomb. Here comes Bloodbird Elf. Oh, this is what I was hoping for, to be quite honest with you. I just want to get this Fatal Push out of my hand. Kapow. Oh my god, that's all four of them. That's not even realistic. We're keeping the Drowned Catacomb in hand in case they have something like Liliana or Kolagon. Kolagon's Command, that is. I don't think they have anything. Can we get a Jace one time? I ain't asking for a lot here. <laughs> oh, man. I miss Rick Moranis. You know, we're playing Parcheesi. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what your hand consists of. I bet there's a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt! Oh, wow. Terminate and lightning bolt. Terminate and lightning. Very, very frightening. I'm just gonna keep... You can have both of these. These are reactive cards and I don't care about them. I, I, I would love it if you showed me what they were, though. So, big terms and bolts. Terms, bolts. Okay. I actually like that you bolted better because if I draw a Jace, it's completely safe. So, can we do that? Can I hit a Jace or a Cryptic Command? There are five in my deck. All right. Let's see what happens. Here comes. Watch. Right under the... Vin oh! Damnation Snapcaster. Both of those are pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, vey. Let's, uh... Let's, where are the good cards? Come on, I'm waiting for the good cards. I forgot to warn you that Magic Online hates me. Well, I feel like I am not its favorite child either, so... So we know you just have a Terminate in hand. That's pretty good. There's no way this guy stays on board, unfortunately. For you, not for me. I think it's fortunate for me. One time, guys. One time. That is the worst one time I've ever seen in my life. There's only 23 lands in this deck, and I, uh, I'm i having a hard time believing it right now. Just don't draw Bloodbraid Elf, I guess, then we're good. Mm-hmm. Modern City, boys. I'm going to crack one Delta because I just don't feel like having more lands in my deck. I have another Delta. I'm fine with that. Okay, well, we'll get rid of Terminate, I guess. <laughs> sure. Fear to Monkey, what's going on? I cannot vouch for that, but I, if you've heard it, I, I appreciate that. Alright, so it's one card to no cards. Literal top deck city. Let's see who draws their Bloodbraid Elf slash Jace the Mind Sculptor first. Oh, not you. Not you, buddy. Not me either. No one.
they are they are cracking fetch lands like they're going out of style. So there we go. Here we go. Bloodbraid Elf. Are you ready? That's a good one, but it's not of Jace, the Mind Sculptor. This is where they're like, that's a good one too. Here comes Colagon's command. No, what are Foothills? Oh my god, what game is this? We don't know their card, right? We got rid of the Terminate, so. Jace. Come on! How is this real life? Is this just fantasy? You drew removal, no escape for creeping tar pit. This is not a song. This is not a real song, but. Yeah, I actually went to a friend's wedding tonight, so I just left the coat on. It's just a, it's a post-wedding pre-coat takeoff stream. That's what I call it. Look up to. This is a situation where I would rather have, uh, serum visions than thought scour because it's a little more control, of my of my 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 destiny. Um, I like Thought Scar because it does fill for, for Tassiger, but that's the only card it fills for. Well, that's fine. You can have it. You can have my throat. This is it. We're going to top the Jason Mind Sculptor. I lied. I lied to you. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's eight lands in our deck. There's soon to be seven lands in our entire deck. You got it. <laughs> this is insane. This is the most boring match of modern I've ever seen. And I've seen some boring modern matches. And guys, I'm just going to crack this. I just want less lands in my deck. I'm at my wit's end. Not my battle of wit's end, though. Just, oh, that was a good one. That's a gentleman that I can I can live with. Oh my god, Brian. Brian, take it easy, buddy. Oh. Um, mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty it's pretty good. Pretty 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 good. I guess we're just thought scouring. God, I wish I could counter that. That was a good top deck. Yeah, that was a good tap deck. Chapper Decker. Chapper McDeckerson. Yeah, we'll just pitch that. At least we can hit you now. At least we can attack you with my with my snark caster mage. Oh boy. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's get Thought Scour, because that's the only thing we can really do. Is milling them a legitimate strategy at this point? We're going to hit a land and we're going to mill two good cards. Serum Visions? Okay. That's fair. Oh, that was a good draw. Um, Bottom both of these? We did hit a Snapcaster and a Valiant Click, both of which would have been reasonable here. But I think we just got some... We just got two threats on the board. Mills, two Jaces. I was literally waiting for it. I was waiting for, like, Jace Snapcaster. Ooh, nothing, huh? Well, it's probably a removal... Sw <laughs> let's, like, let's let them waste their removal spell on this Creeping Tar Pit, and then we can play our Jace with impunity, as they say. If we drew that Thought Scour, we just literally would have milled, milled our Jace. Stop killing my things. Why are you the way that you are? This is the board you want to Jason, boys and girls, ladies and gentle things. Be a land. Be a land on the top. Lightning Bolt? Is that. That's less scary than other things they can draw. You can actually have that. Brian, this is turn 20. If you want to learn to top deck like me. I'm going to advise against it, is really all I'm going to do here. 
All right, now we can actually brainstorm Jace because they didn't hit Jace, so. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. This is unreal. This is not real. This is fake. This is fake life. There was, I literally just had four land. You're going to talk about top decks, four lands in a row. How is this real? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, that's, that's pretty fine. That's pretty fine. That's pretty fine it is. And we've got two lands on top, right? How many lands are in the graveyard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And two lands on top. That is 21 lands out of 23 in the deck. That is ridiculous. Did they cast? Yeah, okay, cool. And flooded train. I mean, Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. Nothing but basics from here on out. That's a good draw. Don't believe me, just watch. What can we hit? We can just hear Heroes Downfall if we need to, or we can just block. Yeah, cool. Oh my god, these lands, dude. I want to put both lands back and then Thought Scour myself. I literally have to scroll down to get to the bottom of my graveyard at this point. If I can hit a Tassiger here, I'll be... I'll be like a pig in... Juposhi, happy birthday, buddy! Oh, I think we're actually just going to do that here. Because that lets us still play everything uh, Snapcaster up to Hero's Downfall, which is pretty sweet. And this is just a one-for-one, one, which is totally fine for me. 980. Here's some spending money to buy yourself a couple of lands. I'm going to buy some, too, if you don't believe me. Just watch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why? Brian. Oh, my God. Look at these top Dekaruskis. Oh, a scavenging Uzarino, huh? Brian, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I guess we should have actually... That's annoying. I guess we should have actually... Could we have dealt with that in response? Like, as soon as we go... This guy's on the stack. We can fatal push, but then, like... We can snapcaster and target something, and they can exile it, which is fine. Because it still lets us block... Oh, so sad. Oh, so sad. Yeah, we should have done that in response. But then they might not attack. And, like, I kind of just rather get the, the Blood Braid off, off the board. So, either way, we're... I was also reading the chat, so I just hit OK really quick. That wasn't like a... I think we're still fine. We have an active Jace on board, and we get to see four cards this turn. So, we have 15 cards in our deck, and this is a standard event. Like, that's not real. Or a, a constructed event, rather. That doesn't seem real. Yeah. All right. So, Jace. Land. You can come out. And now we're just going to exile a million cards from our graveyard. Yeah, I also don't think... I don't think it would have mattered. Like, as soon as... This guy resolves. And as soon as we go to... Uh, if we actually... We'd get, to, we'd get a chance to cast it first. No, this guy would come down. They'd actually cast this guy. It would resolve. They get priority to exile our guy. We would try to cast... Uh, I don't think that works. I think we still would have gotten it. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm literally not smart. That was terrible. And I feel bad for my life choices now. I was literally responding to the chat. Oh my god. Just get rid of all the lands. It doesn't matter. This is me trying to hurry though, because like this game is taking way too long, so give me 
just just bear with me, folks. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Yeah, he can exile it when you cast it. So, I mean, he would get priority. He can try to exile it. We can respond by casting it in response. Uh, would have been the correct play. Would have gotten a scavenging use off the board. But I don't even know if I want to mill myself here. I'm just going to pass in one, two, three. This guy can be a five, five. That changes a lot of things. That's really bad. Six, six, I guess. If there's six creatures, I'm sure there are. Mm. This Liliana misclick was pretty sure it's going to cost us the game. Oh. That's interesting. Like, I feel like they could have attacked either one of these and I would have just had a chump block. Huh. I mean, I'm not going to argue, but... Kalidus seems good. Damnation seems good. I, I, bring, I like bringing Kalidus because I feel like they are they take a lot of their removal out. Hero's Downfall seems fine. I don't like Mana Leaks here. Go for the Throat seems good. I think that's actually where we want to be. Yeah, Jace wears anybody down, especially like 10 turns of Jace. The problem is I had 15 cards left in my deck. Like, I actually didn't have that many answers left. We went through 45 cards. This hand is crazy good. I will keep it. We've done extremely well against the, the Jun deck so far, even despite mis misclicks and misplays. Clicks and plays. Oh, that's sad. Yes, turn 23 in modern, exactly. Good times, good times. I said home, to, home, to, holiday in. Ha 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 ha. Don't believe me, just watch. I'm just gonna play Delta here. We're gonna get another watery grave. Cause if they if they play a guy on two, I wanna be able to keep up uh go for the throat on two. So I can fatal push their guy on two, go for the throat their next guy. And then we can play Vendillion Click and feel good about it. If they don't do anything, we'll just get still get watery grave. Seems fine. They have four cards to our six cards. That's pretty good. I don't think Jace had anything to do with that last game, though. Like, I was, I was bricking a lot of the time. Like, there would be times I would Jace and hit three lands. Plus, like, if my opponent hits Bloodbraid Elf for any creature, it's just, just as good. Good lord. Crypt Cryptic Command next turn. That's pretty gas. Uh, we'll just play this here, and then we can play Swamp next turn and not have to take damage from these things. We're going to Vendillion click you right now, though. Because I don't, I don't feel like dealing with Kolagon's Command, but I guess you could still have it. Yeah, you could still have it. You can, in response... Kolagon's command, get back Tarmogoyf, kill Vendillion Click, which is pretty good. But then I guess we could actually get rid of it. 100% um, getting rid of the Bloodbraid Elf here. What? Why you only show me that? Oh my god, Pulse. Confidant. It doesn't even tell me. What was the other card? Pulse, Confidant, and what else? Like a swamp? Did you guys see it? Like, that's so stupid. <laughs> like... Oh boy.
Yep, all right, so there's Confidant. Ooze, okay. Ooze your daddy, that's what I, that's what I'm wondering. If we kill this guy, you can just eat it, but then like you don't you only have one green, so it's not really that big of a deal. The we're definitely killing it though is really what's happening here. This is not So Pulse is the last card in your hand. Alright, seems good. I would have liked to keep Cryptic Command up, but I would rather just get the Dark Confidant off the board and leave you with two cards. If you want to pulse my Vendillion Click, you don't get to eat anything, which is nice. Another treetop, okay. We do have to draw some stuff here. Well, that ain't going to do it, but it does let us... Oh, that's a hit if I ever saw a hit. Two lands in the graveyard, and we get to hit a second cryptic command. Yes, please. Uh, I might try to do some Ravening of Gauntlet Waltz up. I know some people had interest in that. It would also make a pretty decent uh, just a video to post on YouTube. So... Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to follow or subscribe. Both of those things help me out a bunch, and uh, you know, it's a good way to support the channel. If you guys, if you guys are into that kind of thing, you got it. Eat my Vendillion click. I feel like I just bounced this guy. Oh, Zachary Vink, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. That is awesome, dude. And I, I do stream about five days a week, so. And if you guys ever miss uh, the streams, you can go check them out on YouTube at youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. If you guys are watching it on YouTube, you can feel free to hit those subscribe and like buttons. I'm going to bounce this guy and uh, draw a card. And if we hit any discard spell like a Liliana, we can just get rid of it. What do you eat now? Go for the throat? Fatal push? Go for the fatal push. Push the throat. Go for the push. Fatal throat. Inquisition. Deal. Don't believe me, just watch. I wish you guys did not encourage getting this song stuck in my head that would be the worst thoughts thought scour interesting oh that's such a good one uh, if they hit a green they can actually go green green activate no green green activate green green activate right that's pretty bad I am drinking dyed sunkist and it's ab absolutely incredible it is amazing Connor Ryan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You have been awesome. Do we just play this guy and hope they don't hit a second green? I guess we can kind of figure out if they hit a second green. Diet Sunkist tastes like regular Sunkist. It's unbelievable. That deck list is not correct, guys. I didn't update it. I apologize. I am a terrible deck list up updater. Let me do that now. Give me one second, guys. I'll update the deck list now. Whoop. All right. Dicks. Blue, black. Is this right? I don't know if this is right. I think this is right. This is right. Okay.
Okay, deck list is now up to date if you guys uh, want to check it. So now I'm trying to figure out what we're, we're going to do, though, because, you know, I think we fade seal and then we just one, two, three, four, five. Or we can try to find a removal spell to kill their treetop village. We know their only card is. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna look. Look at the top card. Inquisition of Kozlak would be amazing if it's on top. Just, just, just let it be an Inquisition. Arr! it's so good. Yes, put it on the bottom. I think Jace might be dead now. That's so sad. The guy that moves in turbo mode is Mark Rosewater. That is correct. Uh, the reason you call three color decks by their shard and you don't call two color nameless by their guild is because uh, as far as branding goes, Wizards is officially uses the... Oh my god, they did hit Inquisition of Kozlek. That's absolutely incredible to me. That's exactly what we wanted them to have on top and then just got it instead. Um... The reason is they use they use the shards and clans as an official way to denote deck names, and uh, similarly the names of uh, guilds are not official because that seems too confusing. I guess I, I I think it does because if you have twenty shard twenty ten guilds and then ten shards, that's a lot to remember. Whereas like it's also easier to like I don't know it's it's a whole big thing. I I did a style guide when I was with TCG Player and. Uh, I had explanations for all of it because I, I, I tried to figure out why it was the way it was, and uh, it was interesting to say the least. All right, we're. Mm, um, hmm. Well, we can actually tap everything. Yeah, we're just going to Jace here. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to put Thoughtseize. And drowned back. We'll play flooded strand. We'll keep up heroes downfall. Cryptic command seems good. Oh, uh, the hey, that's pretty good guy is Idubs, not Sam Black. Uh, Idubs is an internet uh, YouTube uh, creator. Hey, that's pretty good. I like Damnation here, but not when you only have these idiots. But we're still going to tap your team and draw a card. Because otherwise our guys die, right? I don't, want, I, don't, I don't really want our guys to die, so. Sergeant Kidder, Dexman, we're 1-1 right now. Um... We could also just bounce this guy heroes downfall this guy, which actually probably is better, right? We'll let them attack first. Heroes downfall bounce you, you'll replay your land. Bren Dozer, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Soul Tide Brood. Really appreciate the sub. Uh I always see you in chat, so I appreciate the support. Um Kill this guy. So I'll make you use your, your green things now. You're probably going to exile Cryptic Command, which is fine. Maybe we could have actually killed the Treetop Village and then... And then Damnation away the Scavenging Ooze, but... Return and draw. I guess we'll have to crack this. Because we didn't want the land... Actually, there's just junk on there anyway, so that's what we want to get rid of. Return and draw. Where are the fatal pushes this match? Oh, there's one in the graveyard. We do want snapcasters. Can we get some snapcasters? Can a brother get some snapcasters? Dark confidant. All right. Wow. <laughs> That's actually the most perfect thing I could have done. 
So we'll put... I actually want all these cards. Like, if we put this back, we can put this in Flood Stream. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually Damnation and keep both of these up for the two lands. It's actually pretty good. Put you back. Put you back. Uh, and then we just have a we just have everything. We just have it all. And even if they kill our Jace somehow, we still have another Jace. So the only thing we're hoping to dodge is like Bloodbraid Elf, I think. Here we go. <laughs> God. How does this happen? It's utterly amazing every time. The only thing we're hoping to dodge is Bloodbraid Elf into Colgon's command. Having a good time. The only thing we're hoping to dodge is Bloodbraid Elf, he said. <laughs> Before Bloodbraid Elf came down. So they have Dark Confidant in hand? Why did they tap this way? That's weird. It's a weird way to tap. Just leave me alone. So, gone, gone, gone. We know you have Dark dark Confidantio. This actually is going to get... There's a land underneath that, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay it. I don't love it, but I want to have access to all the mana in the world. Yeah, this is pretty gas. I'm just going to keep Dub's Fatal Push. Just kill all your things. Don't care. Uh, we didn't push there because push is cheaper, and we had to. We had the mana to play go for the throat, and push kills everything that go for the throat kills. Literally everything except for Bloodbraid Elf. And I would rather just deal with that. So, yep. Don't believe me. Just watch. So they're going to play Dark Confidant. We can play Liliana off the top and kill it. And I think we might actually have to uh, plus Jace here. I mean, by not plusing Jace, we have to hope we hit an answer for this, right? So, and we're not... Oh, God. Get out of here. AKD, C. Always be killing Dark Confidants. That's what I always say. Do you say that? I don't know. Well, they didn't get their scavenging news, which is fine. It's a pretty strong card against us. Because we have Snapcasters and Tassigers and things of that nature. And it also just ends up being a really big creature. And they ended up drawing a blood cleave, Black Cleave Cliffs instead. So either kill Jace... We're going to draw a Flooded Strand. Oh. Intriguing. They have no cards in hand, so... So you can play this. Plus this. I'm just going to hope to hit. I don't think we hit. But we can crack this, put these back, crack this. We're not dead yet. We have no lands to get with that. That's insane. Still shuffled. Still shuffled. Oh, God, I want both of these. Um, well, Jace gets to die, and that's unfortunate.
This is why I'm not a big fan of Serum Visions. This is why I like Opt better. But what can you do? They're in top tech mode, so that's okay. That's okay. Yep. Down, down, down. Jace is going down. If you guys if you guys haven't seen a lot of late two thousands, late late nineties, early two thousands comedies, then I feel like a lot of this is gonna be lost on you. Oh, did you draw a discard spell? Thoughtsies, 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 thoughtsies. No. Declined. Yes? No? Surgical extraction. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, they took did they take the two? There's no way they paid two, right? Did they pay two life? Why would you do that? You have no cards in hand. That's weird. That is strange. Oh, and wow, our, our deck is shuffled now, so we actually don't get the Snapcaster Rage that was on top. We get a Crummy Thought Scour instead. That's pretty bad. Down, down, down. This dude's going. The problem is that, like, their clock is just faster than ours. Oh, I guess it played around Mana Leak. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess, like, I guess it plays around Mana Leak. That's actually a good call. Yeah, see, again, it comes down to that life versus uh, mana question. Modern is, is, I think, more than any other format, Modern is a format with uh, life versus mana. As far as the like the tension between resources, because in Standard, you don't really have that same thing, because you don't have cards with Phyrexian mana, you don't have fetch lands, you don't have shock lands. So you're mitigating, you're, 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 a lot of the time you're responsible for the, the life you lose. Um... More so than your opponent. And is this... What game is this? Is this game two or game three? Because I'm actually kind of glad he went to get the door so our clocks can even out a little bit. I'm not trying to win on time, but I, I, I don't want to lose on time either, so... Who's at the door at 11.40? Oh, that was two minutes ago, so I think they're still gone getting the door right now, so... Crime or pizza? <laughs> That is how that is how the pendulum swings, unfortunately. Treetop into Liliana. Like you do. Well, Jace is gone, so that's a thing. Oh, our face is gone. Interesting. I'm just a dude looking for a fatal push. Can you not kill my creeping tar pit? Because I don't really have... I don't have a lot going for me right now. Can we just get five whiffs? That's all we want. Hero's downfall is good enough to keep, so... And we're going to wait for you to tap this bad Larry. we get a Tassiger off the top? That would be ideal, right? We can activate Tassiger. We can attack with Tar Pit. Everything would be coming up Millhouse if that happened. Serum Visions. Uh, bottom. Bottom. Don't want any of these things. I'm going to assume if you have a one removal spell, you're just going to not discard that one anyway, so... Yep. Sure. Let's 
so we're dead to several things and we just need wind go oh, that's a thing that's a thing that we're dead to not anymore I guess all right unfortunately we can't plus Liliana here all right snappy do your do your worst on the right side they do have to tap a bunch for this raging ravine so What do we get? What do we have multiples of? Go for the throats? Yeah, sure, we'll do go for the throat. We have multiples of fatal, fatal push, too, so. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is unreal. I don't even think we have ways to, uh, to get rid of those. Oof. Tarmogoyf, huh? Okay. Let me crack one of these, because I think we might have another card. Yep, all right. Last, last, last one. I don't think five is that much different than six here. And this is a game. <laughs> Not going to negative Liliana here, because Fatal Push gets rid of everything. Fetal push. Push that baby out. Oh, dear. <laughs> Here comes the Bloodbraid Elf. Are you ready for the Bloodbraid Elf? Just killing that guy? Alright, deal. Land? Okay, each player discards. I feel like if we separate their lands from red and green, I think it's pretty good. So, well, now we're not going to do that. All right, that's what we wanted. We wanted them to crack their bloodstained mire, so we can put all their green lands. Stomping ground's good. Yep, that's going to keep them safe. Sure. Well, now we're both now now it's top deck for infinity. Choose you. One, two, three, four. So green source, green source, green source. Put your green sources and all your other sources together. And I think Tasker can actually win us this game. They have to top deck something that would kill kill a Tasker. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we're just going to cast them like this. One, one, two, three, four. Not even going to have time to uh, to do it correctly. We're just going to... We have 11 cards in our deck. I think our deck goes through a lot of cards. That is my that is my opinion. And Tassiger wins us the game. Wow. Woo. Good games. All right. Doing all right. I think my only criticism so far about this deck is like literally I would just add another Serum Vision over a Thought Scour so far. That was way too close for comfort. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. I see. Well, I guess we have things to discard to Liliana. We also have things to not... We, we're Okay, we're just dead. If this is Boggles now. Wow. Onegu, great game, man. That was pretty insane. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. I feel like bad things are happening. Wow. 
Wow. What does Liliana do? Liliana, we can't target them to make them sacrifice because they have hex proof. <laughs> That's insane. Well, this match is going to go faster than I expected. Lily doesn't have a mode that says each player sacrifices a creature. <laughs> I'm definitely hoping to trade this Snapcaster, that's for sure. Snapcaster, no value. <laughs> Path to Exile. Ah, wow, you had it all. Jesus. Blocking the Boggle with the Thoughtseize actually seems like a really good idea. I, I can get behind this. Damnation. Fatal push. <laughs> I mean, they still have Corf Spirit Dancers, so Fatal Push is better than Thoughtseize here. Yeah, it's only a 6-4 now. Why would you play this post-combat? I don't understand that. Like, there's no two spells I could have had, right? They did play it post-combat, right? I mean, it's a boggle. Actually, why didn't you just play Ethereal Armor, Rancor, and attack? What could I have had? I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. I'm really hoping to hit the damnation here. No, we didn't. I guess we get a turn. Oh, boy. 10-8. That's a 10-8, good buddy. All right. If it didn't have trample, damnation one time. That is... That's a survival. They're at 30 million life, but that does help us survive. All right. All right. Yeah, man, we get it. You got a big boggle. I like big boggles, and I cannot lie. Tap all dudes and draw a card. That ain't going to do it. All right. Come on. Land or damnation. That's what we're looking for. That's what, that's what we need here. You are neither. You are not a good person. You are not a good friend, Tassiger. I mean, bouncing Leyland at this point doesn't really do much, right? Like, what do we... We can't fate, We still can't Fatal Push it. Uh, we still can't... Thoughtseize. Uh, we... Like, we don't have an answer. Oh, sure, in case we drew Liliana, sure. But, I mean, but we're... we're we we give ourselves more options. I don't know. It's I can see the merits for both, definitely. But then we see one card instead of two. Like both of both Damnation and Liliana are two of us in the deck. So I don't know. That was pretty miserable though. I'm not a fan. Um I don't know how to deal with that when it comes down on turn one. <laughs> so that's pretty brutal. Take out the thought seizes. Oh, God. There's so many cards I just want to take out. Heroes Downfalls, blank. I mean, I'll keep Fatal Push just because it kills Core Spirit Dancer. Ugh. Do we have a card like this for enchantments? Because crying out loud, man. Ugh, none of these cards are good. Chase OP, please. Exactly, exactly. Engineer Explosives and Field of Ruin are both very good answers to the to these. Well, not Field of Ruin, not not specifically there, but Field of Ruin is a great a great card in a deck like this. I can definitely see cutting like uh, a fetch land for a Field of Ruin, at least one. Uh, I think we have to keep Leak in because we have nothing else to bring in. Like, 
Scott, what would you what would you say like what would you replace mana leak with? Because like we don't, I don't think we want this. Uh, we don't want Hero's Downfall, obviously. Hercules Recalls does nothing. Surgical Extraction does nothing really. Thoughtseize does nothing. Hotori oh, Shadow, glad you figured it out, buddy. Um, Ceremony Rejection does nothing. Go for the Throw does nothing. Disdainful Stroke does something only if they try to actually cast Leyline. But at that, at that point, I think we're fine. Hotori oh, Shadow, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, dude. That is awesome. I like. I do like one Surgical in case we get a guy in the yard, but I still don't think it's... Good lord, it's not great. Oh god, I'm gonna take one mana leak out. I will bring one more thoughts because we are on the play. But either way, like the problem is, it doesn't matter if we're on the play or the draw. If they mull like them mulliganing to um to leyline is just such a good. It's such a good strategy. Uh, sure. I don't think this hand's great, but I also don't think it's. Like we're not gonna get like all of our a lot of our one mana things, which are removal, are dead, right? Like we just okay, they didn't do it. We did it. We did it. Reddit. Well, thoughts to only pitch a boggle on the play if they actually don't have leyline. So it's like I don't want to bank on them not having leyline and put a bunch of cards in that are dead if they do have leyline. That just doesn't seem great. So. I mean, it's not a matter of being on the play. It's a matter of whether they have ley lines, so. This matchup does hurt. I think this matchup hurt, it hurt significantly less before they, they had the, the this weird main deck ley line. Interesting. No turn one or turn two creature? Mm, I'm a little confused, but all right. Let's keep getting water graves, I guess. Oh, that's a creeper. All right. We got Mana Leak and Counter Swallow up, so. Can they board into a control deck? <laughs> what? Wow, Horizon Canopy on turn two? Jeez, that's aggressive. I don't know what's happening right now. There's a lot of confusion in my heart. There's a lot of Jaces in my hand and confusion in my heart, guys. I have Jaces in my hands and confusion in my heart. I think we just wait. We have no incentive to play a Jace here. We can wait, easily wait till turn six, right? Because like then they just windmill slam a guy and put two things on it, and that's just super bad. just not comfortable with that um no this is a cast trigger so I'm really not a fan of that I mean I'm just going to keep getting water graves until I can can get no more water graves Inquisition or Thoughtseize would be nice. Thought Scour? Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens here. If we get another land, we'll just wait for Jace. If we don't, we'll just play something else. Oh, hey, Granny. How you doing? That's a blank. I guess we could have killed this guy with it, but... We're just going to play Jace here. Because we don't have a way to counter their creature. So. Uh, nope. You can have that. We didn't We didn't brainstorm because we uh, don't want to die to a boggle. Oh, oh my god, they had nothing? What is going on? What is happening here? 
I'm gonna keep looking at your your things because you clearly don't have anything, right? What is even going on here? I'm super confused about everything. Fatal push can go. Doesn't matter. Oh, they just conceded. Wow, this is a very weird game. I have no idea what just happened there. I am confused. Well, that was not expected. Mana Leak seems actually better than I'm thinking. And Fatal Push does not. So I'm trying to minimize the number of cards I draw that are blanks. Damnation. I would put another Damnation in the board for this stupid matchup as well. But again, not again, I don't know if I said it, but they do have stupid... Uh, Oh my god, they didn't get a Leyline again. They don't they do have stupid totem armors, so it's like, meh. That's cool. We can also crack crack Thoughtseize and uh be able to play a Tassiger. Let's get a black here. I ain't about taking a million damage, but I will take a little bit of damage. Goosh! You don't have another land? Hyena Umbra. Griff's Boon. That's going to make you go float. Things that make you go float. Uh, uh. I told the nurse at the home that my boy was on the TV, so she found you for me. Wow, dude. Wow. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. I can't even deal with you guys. Don't believe me, just watch. What do I take here? I'm afraid of Spirit Mantle, but they don't have another land. I could take Glade Cover Scout. They get Griffspoon back at some point. It might just be Hyena Umbra because we're trying to play around... Whatever. I'm going to take Hyena Umbra because we're trying to play around Damnation. And by play around, I mean we're trying to draw Damnation and kill their guys, but... Yep, that's what we were expecting, but it's two damage, so whatever. Well, I'll be a I'll be a biscuit. So we get Tassiger next turn. Is that a faster clock than they do? Got a Glade Cover Scout here. John Boyer, what's going on, buddy? Beer man, man, my friend. Good seeing you. Oh my. Oh my. So, Glade Cover Scout's gone. Oh boy, this is nice. LaFoaf, what's going on, buddy? We are playing some blue black. I'm hoping they just put a bunch of things on a bunch of. Oh, I hate that card so much. I don't want you to get that back, is really the problem, but then you have to draw another bogle. And, and these are not the kind of bogles that you can put on your fingers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no attacking with the other guy. Okay. Okay. Deal. Good deals. No, this is the Glade Cover Scout they had in hand. They only had one. They cast it. I do remember Boglins. Those things were amazing, dude. Don't believe me, just watch. So now you have Rancor in hand as well. So now we know you have Rancor, Spirit Mantle, Daybreak Cornet, and a bunch of junk. Fingers crossed it's a bunch of junk anyway. Oh my god, it's a bunch of junk. Oh my god, it's a bunch of junk. I think we actually play Tar Pit, Cryptic Command, whatever they play, and then we have uh, we can play Tasker the turn after that. Because I don't like putting down the shields for... For Tassiger here, or for uh, for Tassiger here, I think it's. I think we actually just have because what they have Griff's Griff's Moon's never coming back though. Let's be real. But the problem is if they do a Spirit Mantle in hand, so I don't really want to just throw a dude. Okay, so this game. Wow, did we just win this game? It certainly feels like it. Ho ho. So one, two, three, four. We are gonna two for Tassiger and exile our entire graveyard, I guess. Yep, that's pretty good. And now we get to keep Cryptic Command and Counter Squall up for. Is 
I'm not going to actually take down the shields because I want to close out this game. And if they have path, it's not it's not good. That's a that's a hard counter. All right, this game's just over. I think we have mana leak and we have cryptic command. So and counter squall for path textile. So. And let's see what you got. Let's see your embarrassing hand. Um, you can keep all that. <laughs> That's a deal. I do not care. Oof. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we don't have path. We didn't see a path, right? That'd be ridiculous. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're a mana shy anyway, we can't do it, so we'll just attack like normal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our hand is unbeatable at this point. Wow. Well, already three two. So this deck is gas. I'm a fan. And last round. What's the craziest viable brew you have seen so far with Blood Rail? Uh, I can't even, like, Jund. <laughs> I haven't seen any crazy brews. Like, it's only been five days. I mean, I wish I, could, I wish I had a better answer, but... I mean, you know, it's only been five days. I'll keep this hand. This hand looks great. Uh-oh. Whoa. Is this a storm? Oh, it's a storm marino. Well, it's not good. Don't want either of these, I don't think. Fatal Push is good against their two mana nerds. I think we'll keep the Fatal Push. Because if they don't have the... The, the, the nerds then they don't win right it's really hard to go off You can't storm off without cuties. That's what I always say. It's like it's like winning friends with salad. You can't do it. That's it. I've had it with this dump. We've got no food. We've got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. Harry, I said I'd handle it. Are you going to counter this? Sure. Push that effing cutie. Wow. Oh, I'm just going to get this. I don't like it, but I'm just going to kill it now because our mana is so much better next turn. Eh. Do we want a Liliana here and just start doing their thing? Start making us discard things? Is that is that powerful?
Harry, I said I'll take care of it. I do get a little scared when they go cutie. One mana, one mana, two mana spell, one mana, two mana spell, one mana, two mana spell, cutie. And then it just escalates from there. We can just keep mana leak and snapcaster mage up here. And Vendillion click at the EOT if they don't do anything. So I'm not going to click on draw because it might not actually do anything. What up, t what up, Shattuck? Um, if we upkeep, if we do, if we do click on upkeep and they have enough to go off, even despite us taking something, then we're just dead. Whereas you can play it now and, uh, prevent them from doing shenanigans. Let me see your hand. Oof. Look at this. Look at this gem. I'm gonna have to clip it because I actually don't, uh... They don't let you save it, so I'll bring this over here. All right. I don't think I care about remand. Probably just grape shot, right? Sure. Can I have a land? I just want lands at this point. Well, that's not a land. Why has Vendillion click legendary? That's a weird. That's a weird thing to be. So they can go Pyretic Ritual into Gifts here, right? And we can just counter it. Seems good. Oh, that is a land. Clever girl. I'm real tempted to Liliana here, but... Boy, no. No way. I'll just kill you with this Vendillion click. If I have to. I'll just beat you down with this Vendillion click. We can put Barrel on top? Oh, and he took two? Alright. Barrel. No. And now we have Snapcaster Mana Leak. And they have Remand in hand, so if we try to kill it any other way, they would just Remand it, which is not what we want them to be doing. That's also pretty good. Are we just winning this game? Don't believe me, just watch. Are we winning this game? Don't believe me, just watch. Just watch the game. This is round five, right? We're 3-1? This is, this is gas. We're doing... We're doing so well. And I feel like our, our match only gets better after after game one, so... Um, I'm tempted to just Snapcaster here, but... They remand it, and then we just snap again. And then we just kill them? That seems good, right? Like, what can they have? They gotta have... They gotta have... Grape shot, and that's a sorcery, right? So, like, I don't think this deck runs anything that can stop these things that we're doing. And we won the game. All right. Storm this, buddy. I want to take Liliana's out. I think she's a little slow. Damnations can come out as well. We will bring in Collective Brutality. Counter Squalls. Um, Disdainful Stroke counters Gifts, but I think that might be it. Nihil spell bombs can come in. Pretty easy choice there. So don't like you, don't like you, don't like you. Don't care about you. Nope, nope. Surgical surgical's pretty good. What can we put in for surgicals? Uh Heroes Downfall can probably come out. We have fatal pushes and collective and go for the throat here. Probably cut a thought scour for another surgical. I don't think thought scour is that great. Maybe we just actually want Heroes Downfall instead. I think this is probably a lot better. Oh, it counters past in flames too, actually. Yeah, that's probably better than... Yeah, I think this looks significantly better. Uh, we'll cut one Jace, actually. I don't think Jace is that great in this matchup. We might just cut two Jaces. And just board in... Like, this is better than Hero's Downfall, right? No, it's... Yeah, it's not an artifact. Yeah, so we can bring that in. Yeah, all right, cool. Lily is better than Jace? Wow. Interesting. Hmm. 
I will keep this hand. If you don't believe that I'll keep this hand, just watch. I want you to sack your barrel. Show me a cutie on turn two. Oh, no land on turn two. Oh my. Oh, I see. Do, 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 do. Oh, now we got mana leak. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think we just won this game. <laughs> it's a bold claim on turn three, but if they miss two land drops, I will devour you. I will eat your soul, my friend. Fetch land? It's going to be a fetch land. That's just how we do it. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Desperate gifts. Oh, double barrels. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This hand is interesting. So they have no red. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, desperate ritual. I imagine we just take gifts here, right? I don't think it does it. Like, are they ever going to get to gifts here? I think Manamorphos is better, and we can just kill all the barrels they play. So, that was a brutal keep. I don't mind barrel. If they go land barrel, we just kill it. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that. I'll fatal push and then fatal push it again. All right. We don't get to do that because that is the game. All right. Awesome. Um, Scott, thank you so much for actually being here for this. This was pretty sweet. Okay. So the one thing I, I thought this deck was sweet. I do like a field of ruin. I just, I think one is fine. Maybe one in the sideboard. Um, because we drew a ton of fetch lands. I would actually put one field over one flooded strand. I just think it's a better, and it's going to trigger revolt as well. I would also add one serum vision for one thought scour. I think if we had a heavier, uh, if if we had cards like young pyromancer that were just getting also perks from things like thought scour, I think it's just a better card, um, to use. Or if we had like murderous cuts and things like that, I think it's fine. Our final record is four one with the deck, which is pretty sweet. Um, I don't really have many other changes i think the deck felt really good i i'm trying to look at cards that were not useful during these matches and like there aren't many of them um i i could see maybe adding another win condition but like it just wasn't we didn't we never needed it um i don't know like logic not seems good as a hard counter but Again, like we have so much removal, and like we, it wasn't super needed. Like, I, I'm not even and like, but this is this is literally just one one league too. So it's possible that I just didn't come across the matches that needed a logic knot or that needed a spell snare, right? But I mean, you know, based on on the matches we played, I was comfortable with the deck. I never felt like I was outmatched. I never felt like I was like. I do like one search for Azkanta. I think that's a pretty, I think that's a pretty good uh, addition. I could see maybe cutting like one Liliana for a Search for Azkanta, but probably not. I could see cutting something for it. Maybe even a Thought Scour, because Search for Azkanta is also a way to fill the graveyard and give us consistent card advantage. I think that's actually pretty sweet. I think one Search for one Thought Scour, would, I would be okay with that. Um, I would actually put that in. Yeah, I, I can get behind that. This is this is the kind of deck that wants Search as well, because you get to find more lands. You get to uh, flip it. And uh, what do you call it? You could hit things like Jace or Liliana off of it, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. The deck seems sweet. I was I was impressed by it, and uh, we went 4-1, which is a pretty compelling record for me. I like all the counter spells in the sideboard. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you got to show it to me, Scott. I'm, I really appreciate the uh, the donation and whatnot. 
Uh, and I hope you're healing well. And uh, if you guys are interested in in uh, getting getting my feedback on one of your decks or what have you, there are ways to do that. You can go to my Twitch page, which is uh, twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. You can check it out in the in my profile. There's information on how to get a hold of me. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.